Hi GQ, these are my essentials that I cannot live without. Essential one is my shoe. This is important to me because it protects my feet. <laughs> Start again. Take two. This is my shoe. I rarely go anywhere without these on my feet. That's for sure. This one time I was in LA and I saw this homeless guy walking with no shoes on. And the day before I bought a pair of $1,000 Christian Louboutin trainers. And I uh, saw him walking with no shoes on, so I ran after him and I gave him my shoes. I walked home, my feet were cut and bruised, but it was definitely worth it because I had plenty more shoes at home and that poor guy didn't have any. My next essential is a packet of playing cards. We have spent many hours with these things, passing time away when we're very bored in training camp. We play poker, we play snap, we play many different games. We play highest or lowest card wins, we bet with them, we do all sorts of stuff. So very essential in training camp for sure. My next essential, sunglasses. Always good when coming to LA with the sunshine. When I'm in the UK, I don't really need sunglasses. Very odd occasion. But when I come to LA, I realize that you need sunglasses 365 days a year because it's a sunshine state. My next essential is aftershave. Cologne, whatever you want to call it. I never go anywhere without aftershave. I have to smell like a million bucks. This is uh, Clive Christian Rocco. It's a good one, smells nice, lasts for ages. Gives me a bit of a headache though. Many people give me compliments on that aftershave. It's one of those attractive, sexy ones. Next essential is my jacket. See, I rarely go to any media events or any places without looking the business or catching the eyes, center of attention. It's almost become a cliche for me now, a gypsy king to arrive with a random suit on. So yeah, I never go anywhere without my jacket. Never catch me without a jacket on. What's that? Whatever. Right, moving on. My next essential is my Wow Hydrate. I never go anywhere without these babies. All you gotta do is push and shake there you are. It keeps me hydrated, full of electrolytes and sugar-free. Vitamins and minerals, so very essential to me. Every training camp, I have boxes and boxes and boxes of these things shipped over, and I, I used them throughout the day. They started sponsoring me about last year sometime, last summer. After that, I, I never moved without them. I drink a lot of regular water. I drink a lot, like eight liters a day when I'm in training camp, but I drink a lot of these too. Especially after a good workout, it puts all the salts and all the um, electrolytes back in the body. Very essential. My next essential is my head shaver. It's a little like motor car looking vehicle. All over the head, bald head. Perfect for guys with no hair. I never go anywhere without these things. I have to shave this bald head about three times a week. And having a bald head is more maintenance than having a full head of hair, believe it or not. So I wouldn't recommend it for anybody. Don't go bald if you can help it. The last two years I've been doing it three times a week because it grows back but it looks a mess and yeah, not good. Thinking about having a hair transplant, yeah. I've been offered a few options so yeah, you may, may see me in the future with a mop of flowing curly hair. But I don't know, I get quite, quite a lot of compliments on this bald head. <laughs> so this one, this is my next essential. It's about the same company, Headblade and it's a moisturizing lotion. So after I've shaved, I always use moisturizer. Um, obviously, for obvious reasons, moisturizes the bald head, but it feels better when you moisturize. You always feel a little bit better when you've had a bit of moisturizer on your face and your hair, and under your neck and when you've had a shave. It's always good to spray a little bit of aftershave on, a little bit of moisturizer, feel a million dollars. So my next essential is this little thing, contraption. Made a long, long time ago in China, apparently. Tea bags. I always have these everywhere I go. You can't beat a good British cup of tea. Wherever you go in the world, a lot of problems can be solved over a good hot cup of tea with milk, no sugar, extra strong. My next essential is my watch. 
I never go anywhere without a watch on, whether it's swimming, wherever I go. I always like to keep track of time. I'm one of those people who think I'd rather be an hour early than five minutes late. So I have to keep track of time no matter where I am. So that watch, only time the watch comes off is when I'm in training for boxing at the gym. And as soon as the gym's over, I'll put it back on the wrist. I sleep in it, I shower in it, I swim in it, I eat in it, sort of like. And when you've not got a watch on, I feel half naked. Without that watch there now, it feels weird. But if, if you don't wear a watch, you're not used to wearing one, then you don't miss it. People use the phone a lot today for everything, but um, I like to keep things a little bit old school and, and check my watch out. My next essential is my mobile phone. I never go anywhere without it. Some days I do, some days I don't actually, that's a lie. Some days I like to switch this bad boy off, leave it off for a few days and see how long I can go without being contacted. That's, that's quite hard, difficult in today's day and age um, to receive no emails and messages and phone calls. Just switch it off and go back to 1996. It's actually kind of cool and I suggest it to some people if you want a bit of a relaxation time, get rid of the mobile phone. Because everywhere I go today, I see people on phones. They're on dates, husband and wife, families, everybody be on their own mobile phone and people are living in a virtual reality world rather than living reality. You can do your shopping on your mobile phone, you can do your banking on your mobile phone, you can watch TV on your mobile phone, you can do anything on a mobile phone. You don't need to leave this room, but you can be anywhere in the world on your mobile phone and see what everybody else is doing, so quite a device. So that's why it's everybody's essential, but that's why I like to put it away so I can live a regular life too. And last but not least is my biggest essential, Easy Stroke by GK. Now this is my personalized um, Easy Stroke Cream. You might have seen this video that's gone viral where I talk about my masturbation seven times a day. Yeah, I was prescribed it by a, a doctor and it seems to be working really well. This is only in training camp to keep the testosterone levels high, keep reproducing, and uh, yeah, it really works. I feel fantastic. This is gonna be made available this year in stores near you. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my essentials. Don't forget to watch my fight.